today we are going to be learning about something that blew my mind when I found out about it. Thanks to Big Jack Films for sending me the link to this in the first place. We are going to learn about something really, really cool today. So after King Kong 2005 was made, uh, it made a lot of money, but obviously, you know, up to its budget. It didn't make just enough, you know, to get a sequel. That idea was kind of like on hiatus, but Jackson always wanted to have a sequel. He had his eye on somebody for the sequel. So back in 2013, Your Next was about to come out in theaters, and Peter Jackson got an early screening of it. Uh, he was interested in Adam Winger being the director for his King Kong sequel. That's right. It was going to be called Skull Island. And Adam Winger explains this further. I think in a lot of ways, the reason for me not having to do a pitch for Godzilla vs. Kong was we have to travel back to 2013 or so when your next was about to come out in theaters. Somehow, Peter Jackson had seen an early version of your next, and he was interested in me directing a sequel to his King Kong film. It was just going to be called Skull Island. Now, before you go, what? That's such a weird choice. He sees this, uh, you know, horror movie, and then he wants again to do a King Kong movie. Well, you have to remember that Peter Jackson started off making low-budget horror. I'm pretty, like, brain dead. I'm pretty sure it was one of his first movies. But, uh, you know, he started, he made a couple others. But he did get his start doing low-budget horror. So maybe he saw something in Adam. I don't exactly know. But it doesn't make no sense. Simon Barrett was going to write it. Mary Perrin, who runs Legendary now and produced this movie, was on board with that. But the movie was set up at Universal and King Kong's right somehow ended up at Warner Brothers. That movie went to the wayside, and so did I. In a long, roundabout way, I think getting that vote of confidence from Peter Jackson stuck in Mary Parent's mind. I guess other directors had been considered. The studio wanted Joe Cornish, and, and Guillermo del Toro was someone that Jackson was fond of, of tackling the project. It's interesting that, uh, you know, because Adam Wingard was obviously not as big as a director back then, that that name just didn't come out. As I'm sitting here recording this, something strikes me. 2013 is when your next comes out. Peter Jackson sees it. He wants to make a sequel. You know what was announced in 2014? Skull Island, which became Kong Skull Island. So is it true that Kong Skull Island literally was originally a sequel to Kong 05? And if that is the case, and that if these are the same projects, because they're talking about Mary Parents here, when did they change it? to move into the Godzilla universe. Obviously, we know the announcement was made in 2015, but now it just brings up so many questions of when they decided into production that they were going to make it a universe movie. That is insane. That is pretty awesome that, that Peter Jackson is going to get to see how Adam Winger handles King Kong. So that's pretty crazy. Would you have wanted to see a sequel to Peter Jackson's King Kong? I don't actually know if I would want to, only because... I kind of cinematic universes are great and all, but I really, 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 really like closed endings as well. They feel like they have so much closure, and I think Kong 2005 ends perfectly. But either way, we could always have those April Fool sequels produced. So, would you want to see this? Who would you have directed? Let me know what you think.